Hey, hey, hey. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jenny Carriaga from Bless Department, third year and a Bless student. How are you all feeling today? Are you good? Great. Now, today I will tell you one of the myths in Egypt titled The Prince and the Fates. Are you all excited? Awesome. Let's start. Once upon a time, many years and you can tell me, and twice as I can tell you, there was a prince in Egypt named Thutmus, and he is the son of the great Amenhotep. And because he is the eldest son, many of his brothers and half-brothers would plot against him, even his life. But these plots would fail because Thutmus honored the god and so they smiled upon him. One day, he went all morning for gazelle to hunt. So Totmos and his servant found themselves near the pyramid of Giza. Totmos told his servant to rest here and wait for I want to go off alone to offer prayer to my ancestors. And then he rode to his chariot and gazed at the pyramid. And then he noticed there was a huge stone rose out in the sand. It was a head. Totmos heard about this. It was the Sphinx of a copper, though he never seen it before. It was modeled on a sacred animal, Haramaket, Purus of the rising sun, and a great power and wisdom. But it was almost buried it completely. Totmos sat and contemplated the great face of God. Wore the headdress of the pharaoh, the great crown and veil with Urayo's cobra and Ujat eye, its screaming power in it. So Tudmus prayed to Harmaket for his deliverance from trouble. And when he finished, there was a rumbling sound beneath his feet, and when he looked up, he saw the things had moved like a cat attempting to free itself from the bond. And then it looked at Tutmos and spoke in a mighty yet kind voice. Oh, Tutmos, son of Amenhotep, and the fear of a man with the power of Horus, know that I am your father and the father of all Pharaoh Egypt. It is your destiny that the double crown of Upper and Lower Egypt shall come to you. you know that if you became the Pharaoh, my blessing will come upon you and you shall have long life and help all your days under your rule. Egypt will become strong and rich. You have shown me devotion up to these days when my statue is all but forgotten in a desert. And so I have looked kindly upon you, but I ask you one thing. See how the sand encloses me and hide me from the people? I ask that if you are the good son, that you will help me and free me from the desert sand, clear away which holds me fast, so that the people will come again to worship me. Totmo was surrounded by the lights, and he heard his servant calling to him, Prince Totmos, Prince Totmos. And then he called back and said, I am alive and well. And then he looked up to the things. He stood, he shouted, Harmaket, my father, I do swear an oath, and I call upon the God to witness it. If I became the Pharaoh, my first command shall be your sacred image, the face, will freed from the sand and restore its glory, that all men may come give you honor. And from that day forth, all that was dead was plus. And then, he named the heir of the throne, and sooner or later, he became the king or the pharaoh. He was regarded a great king and became less than And then, the Egypt becomes strong and rich. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story of the Pinks and the Prince. That's all for today. Goodbye!